What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, um, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for, for future readings. Just saying. This is um, week four's reading for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of, of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. And don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I appreciate every like, subscribe, share, unlike, and donation. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. Single mom with two kids. So it really, really helps. Just saying. I love each and every one of you guys. All right. So I got a channeled in as I was meditating on your week four's energy sorry about <coughs> excuse me about my sweater faux pas okay so the channel message i received was um an aquarius is about to find out a libra is pregnant and a taurus is about and they're about to find out that a taurus is about to file a lawsuit on a libra and for some others so you plug it in how it resonates that's pretty strong so um you Aquarius if this resonates with you of course you only take the messages that resonate leave the rest I heard is about to find out that um a Libra is pregnant so it has to be a Fem Libra um whoever this Fem Libra is in your life um they have vaginal parts so feminine parts to produce a child in the womb um they can have Libra in their sun moon rising Venus work their midday with Jupiter so for some you're about to find out a Libra is pregnant and for some you're about to find out a Taurus is about to file a lawsuit on a Libra. It could be the same Libra or a different one for one Taurus in the universe. And it sounds like another Taurus in the universe is about to file a lawsuit on a Libra and others. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. That's pretty strong energy there, Aquarius. Um, Taurus and Libra and energy very strong in your energetic space. Um, whoever these Taurus and Librans are in your life, they could have Taurus or Libra and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hammer, Jupiter. But whoever this Libra is, they're a Femme Libra. Um, the Taurus could be masculine or Femme. You plug it in how it resonates. And lawsuit energy. Um, this Taurus is not playing around. There, I heard that some, they're about to file a lawsuit on a Femme Libra. For some, a Libra and others. So, I mean, they're not playing around. This Taurus, I mean... For some, hopefully, it's not you they're following the lawsuit on. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. I feel, it, um, feel you know, for some, it's that Fem Libra. For some, it could uh, be Libra and others. For some, it could be you, but I'm not feeling it is um, for a lot of you guys. Um, I strongly don't feel it is. But you have to play in your life however it fits. Holy crap. Spirit messages you have to sign of Aquarius. For some, you are the lawyer that's going to help with the lawsuit. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard for some, you you were the lawyer that's going to help with the lawsuit. Oh, my goodness. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So, whoever this is for, that one specific message, um, for some, you are the lawyer that's going to help with the lawsuit. So, I think the lawsuit with the Taurus against the Femme Libra, for some, and for some, the Taurus against... Um, Following the lawsuit against the Libra and others for some. Uh, for some, you're the lawyer that's going to help with the lawsuit. Um, whoever you are. Holy moly almighty. Okay. Ten of Pentacles upright. King of Pentacles upright. And a particular Aquarius lawyer is about to get a huge, huge, huge wake-up call. Huge wake-up call. They were told a particular feminine energy in the past was very dumb, but they're realizing they're not. And they're about to really step up and help this feminine energy in a huge 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 way at the end of this it will be a very 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 successful lawsuit know this oh my god whoa 
So I'm pulling in heavy lawyer energy. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. So whoever this is for, you know, you only take the messages that resonate, okay? But heavy lawyer energy. But for one lawyer out there, you were told a particular femme energy, she might be your client or she might be upcoming be your client is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates. I feel maybe for some she's your client currently and for some she might be upcoming be your client. However, that plugs in your life. Um, but you were told this femme energy, I think, from other people, obviously, uh, person or people, however that resonates, um, was very dumb. But I heard you're realizing she's not. She's not dumb. Um, in fact, I think you were realizing opposite. She's probably very intelligent. Um, but it's giving you a huge wake up call. And I heard it's going to push you and motivate you to... Um, really help her, really help her and deliver her some important information and um, help, I think, in the legal realm. Um, so, so some good, sound legal advice and legal assistance or what have you, or maybe both. And um, I heard um, it's going to be very effective and it's going to turn into a um, very winning lawsuit. So, and, oh, and some information, too. Some information you're going to deliver her. Um, that's going to be very helpful and useful and what have you. So I'm assuming, she, like I said, she's either currently your client or upcoming to be your client. But uh, how that resonates. But whatever this is, you were told she was dumb in the past, but you're, you either have already realized she's not or you're about to realize she's not. She's actually very opposite, very intelligent. Um, and you're... Whatever this is, you're going to deliver some information and probably some legal advice or maybe both. And then it's going to, it sounds like the wheel's going to start turning from there. And then um, I heard it will turn into a winning, a winning lawsuit. So I think you're going to defend her in the court of law in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and it's going, whatever information I think is going to be exposed between you and her, um, I'm assuming the... Um, confidentiality, um, client, attorney, client privilege is what I'm assuming. Uh, the information share with the attorney client privilege will, um, lead to series of chain of events and information share and blah, 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 and, um, get the ball rolling and it will turn into a winning lawsuit. Wow. And I think you're going to be the one to help get with this winning lawsuit because I'm pulling you in for a reason. Um, so we have got at least two of you guys in here. One's about to represent a Tauran against a Libra for some, I feel, and for some, a Tauran against a Libra and others, and one again um, representing a Fem Energy with the winning lawsuit. So you plug it in, however. Very, 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 very winning lawsuit. Know this. Very. You already know this. You're highly intuitive. Oh, my God. Woo. Okay, I heard very, very, very winning lawsuit. Very. Um, you're highly intuitive. You already know this. So, whoever you are, lawyer, Aquarius. Holy moly, my goodness. Ten of Pentacles upright, King of Pentacles upright. A particular Aquarius lawyer is about to really go hardcore for a Tauran. Very, very strong. Huge amount of stolen money. Extortion from a Libra. You are going to be very, very, very successful. Know this. Oh my, I'm pull, my gosh, I'm nine minutes in. I'm pulling, all I'm pulling in is lawyer energy in here. So you plug it in where, how it resonates. This is the first reading of a kind. I mean, my God. So um, 
you, whoever you are, you're a lawyer, um, you mean mask on him lawyer, but um, you're about to, it sounds like already representing a torrent or about to represent a torrent. I feel it is a masculine torrent or a femme torrent that takes on heavy masculine energy. However, that resonates in your life. But I heard a Libra, a femme Libra has um, embezzled and extorted money from a torrent. Um, and you're going to help get it back. So I think you're the lawyer that's going to represent this either masculine Taurus or femme energy that takes on heavy masculine Taurus. I mean, sorry, femme energy takes on heavy masculine energy, foreign, however that resonates. Um, but I heard extortion and, um, embezzlement. They have embezzled and extorted 10 of pentacles upright. They, I mean, that's the biggest money card in the Tarot. Um, if you don't know that lawyer Taurus, the biggest, I mean, not lawyer Taurus, sorry, lawyer Aquarius, the biggest money card in the freaking tarot is the biggest money card. That's, that's money, money, that's money, money, money. Now, 10 of Pentacles is different to different people. For, it could be millions of dollars, or it could be $500,000, or it could be $100,000, but it's the biggest money card in the tarot, I'll tell you that. But it's a hell of a lot of money, however that resonates, whether it's millions, um, multi-million or hundreds of thousands of dollars. I heard extortion and um, embezzlement. So, um, but I heard you're going to help get it back. And it's from a Libra, Fem Libra. They could have Libra and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Four, Fem, Maintain, or Jupiter. And I heard you're going to be successful. I heard you're going to be successful. Holy moly. And a particular Aquarius is about to be shocked when they find out that a Taurus is about to make it right with a former employee of their past in their company. Going to give them credit for what they have done in the past and a very large payout for what they deserve for their hard work. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so for whoever this is for, um, you're going to be shocked, Aquarius, whoever you are and however you're connected to this Taurus. This sounds like a different situation. For some, it could be the same. You plug it in how it resonates. But this Taurus sounds like works in a company or did work in a company, however that resonates, that... Um, but they had a um, employee under them um, in the past, it sounds like. But the employee worked very, very hard on something that sounds like gained the company a bunch of money. Um, but this tourist did not give this employee, former employee, credit for it, basically. They didn't give them credit for it. They didn't um, compensate them for that, uh, their hard work. I heard they put a lot of time and hard work and effort into it. And it sounds like it reaped the company Ten of Pentacles upright because it's a channeling from the same cards. That's why I say that. Um, but they did not give them credit. But I heard you're going to be shocked. They're, I heard they're going to give them very public recognition and a very, very well-deserved large payout for their time and hard work and effort. And you're going to be shocked that this Torrin's about to do this. So you plug in your life however it resonates, but that really is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. It really, really is. I mean, you what you put good into the universe, good comes back to you. You put bad into the universe, bad comes back to you. At least that's the way it's supposed to be. That's the laws, laws of karma. And that really is true. Sometimes it takes years for it to come around, good or bad, but it does come around. So um, kudos to this Tauren, whoever this is. I heard you're going to be shocked. Um, but that sounds like what needs to be done. And I'm serious about that. So it sounds like Ten of Pentacles Upright. It's a large compensated amount they're about to give this um, person, this former employee of either their current company, or maybe they both used to work there, and maybe this touring doesn't work it there anymore, or maybe they still do work there. But the person that did all this hard work and put all this time and hard work and effort in something they basically never got paid for doesn't work there anymore. I'll tell you that. For some, this is going to make you very happy. For some, this is going to piss you off. 
Okay. Her, for some, this is going to make you very happy. For some, this is going to piss you off. So for some, it's going to make you happy that this uh, person, this former employee that basically um, didn't get paid for what they were supposed to get paid for. Um, and it sounds like they put a lot of time, effort, energy, and hard work into it. And they should have been rightfully compensated for it. Did not get compensated. For some, it's going to make you very happy. But for some, it's going to piss you off. So maybe you're, you're jealous of this person. Or maybe you or don't like this person and you just didn't want them to do, do well um, how, for the one that's going to be pissed. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Wow. Spirit messages you have signed. Okay. The Empress upright, the lovers upright, five of pentacles reversed. An Aquarius is really developing strong feelings for a particular feminine energy, fire sign, feminine energy. They have not told them yet. But series of chain of events soon is going to occur and they it will probably speed it up for them to tell them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Positive series of chain of events for this Aquarius and this fire sign femme. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so this is a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, there's a fire sign femme in this one and you Aquarius if this resonates with you. But it sounds like positive things are coming for you and this fire sign femme. Um, I heard you have you are gaining feelings for a fire sign film. Now fire signs are Aries Leo Sag, so it's an Aries Leo Sag feminine energy. Um, they could have Aries Leo or Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Hayward, Jupiter. But I heard you you're gaining feelings for them, and it sounds like you for some you probably have had feelings for them for a hot minute, but you just haven't said anything for strategic reasons. Um, it sounds like you've kept it inside, you've kept it inside, you've kept it inside. Maybe you didn't think the time was right, or maybe you're in something, or maybe they're in something, or what have you, but there's reasons you've kept it in. For some, I feel you probably kept it in for a minute, um, for maybe a hot, long minute. Um, but I heard a um, series of chain of events are going to occur soon to um, positive series of chain of events for you and this fire sign film that's going to speed, um, speed it up as far as you divulging your romantical feelings towards this fire sign film um most likely so of course everybody has free will and if this isn't your story it's not your story but you plug it in however that resonates um but your fire sign film is coming off as the empress upright so i mean very um this is the best card in the trope other than high priestess the high priestess card and the emperor the emperor empress and high priestess are the three best cards in the tarot energetically just bar none, bar freaking none. One of the reasons why I um, wanted my channel name, High Priestess, in, High Priestess Intuition, just for real, for real. Um, if anybody didn't know that. But um, yeah, I mean, one of the reasons, not all the reasons, but one. But um, anyways, point is very high vibing, high energetic um, card here. Um, so your Fire Sun Fem is very high vibing. Very high vibing. They're high vibing energetically, um, and they're upright. So, for some, they could be a mother. For some, they could be pregnant. For some, they could just be a femme energy that is very motherly, loving, and caring. Because this could represent pregnancy, um, a person with children um, that takes care of their children properly. Because Empress Reverse is a different story. So, they could either have kids and take care of them properly be pregnant, or they are a feminine energy that has no children, but they have very motherly, loving, caring vibes about them. Um, however that resonates in your life, lovers upright, you have romantical feelings towards them, but you've been keeping it keeping it in. So that's why we have lovers upright. Um, for some, you could be dealing with the Gemini, because we have Gemini energy in here. If you are, they could have Gemini in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, or Jupiter. And for some, you, you could be dealing with the Libra as well, because this is Libra energy. Um, you could or could not be. You plug it in, how it resonates. 
and then five of pentacles reversed. So they're not being left out in the cold. They're manifesting themselves. They're growing and manifesting themselves. Very independent fire sign feminine has done it all on their own. And you know this. Okay. Heard very independent fire sign femme. They've done it all on their own. And you know this. So this fire sign femme, um, I heard from spirit is very independent. They're very independent. And I heard they've done it all on their own. And you know this. So I think done all on their own as far as bringing themselves out of the hole. I think they're a great manifester. I think of money and other ways possibly because um, you can manifest money. You can manifest positive relationships, positive copacetic healthy relationships. You can manifest um, connections. You can manifest love. You can manifest, I mean, a million different things, um, positive or negative. But in this aspect, it is positive. Um, but in this particular aspect, I think it's money that you have been manifesting. I heard they've been doing it all on their own. I think it's money that you're manifesting money on their own. They're very independent. So I think they brought their own self out of the cold. And you know this. You, Bria, know this. So you plug it in however it resonates. But I heard some kind of significant series of chain of events is about to occur to speed things up. As far as your feelings, you displaying your feelings towards this fire sign feminine. So, but positive series of chain events. So whatever they are and however those apply in you, you and this fire sign fem's life, you have to plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Let's get um, an Oracle card and then I'll close it. Spirit messages you have for the sign of Aquarius. A particular Aquarius addict, for some former addict, for some, some current closet addict, is going to regret ever talk down talking a Leo feminine. Because some serious truth is about to come out soon. It's about to seriously embarrass this particular Aquarius. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. We have a little bit of everybody in here. We've got heavy lawyer energy in here. We've got somebody in their feels emotionally um, towards a fire sign film. We've got, um, for some, I heard a former addict Aquarius and for some, a current closet addict Aquarius. Now I heard addict. So, you know, there's many addictions, so you have to plug yourself in where you fit. If you do fit in that particular message, addict, it could be alcoholic, it could be a drug addict, it could be a sex addict, it could be a gambling addict. Um, to me, there's there's millions of addictions. Um, it's not. It could be a food addict, um, but some kind of addict energy. Um, anybody doesn't know addictions are basically something. You keep doing, you keep doing, you keep doing, you keep doing. It's it's a mental thing and a physical thing. You just keep doing. You think about it all the damn time. You just do it, do it, do it. You don't ever break the chain and break the cycle to stop the addiction. Now, you people can stop addictions, but most people that are addicts, they are so it's so damn mentally ingrained in them that they don't stop it. I mean, if that makes sense. So it just keeps the cycle going and keeps the cycle going and keeps the cycle going. Um, you can break addictions, but you have to be mentally strong enough to break them, if that makes sense. So who, I mean, however the addict resonates in your life, if that re message resonates with you is what I'm trying to say. Because there's many addictions, um, drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling, food, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But whoever this particular message is for, you, for some, you're a former addict. And for some, you are a current closet addict, closet addict. So you're still an addict. You just don't display to the world that you're an addict, you do it behind the scenes. So whoever that's for, I don't feel it's a food addict in that situation um, because people would know because you'd probably be big, just saying. So I'm thinking sex or drugs or alcohol with that. The closet addict energy. But I heard um, you're going to really, really regret down talking a um, Leo feminine in the past because, I heard another one, um, because um, 
some serious truth is about to be exposed. So um, it might be serious truth on this Leo film or serious truth on you or serious truth on both of you. But it sounds like the serious truth on the Leo film is positive and the serious truth on you is negative, whoever that's for, um, that particular Aquarius. So you plug it in however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Holy crap, Aquarius. Excuse me. We have chaos and courage. And I've never seen this card in this deck before because um, my lovely SEJ subscriber, um, you know who you are, ma'am, sent me these cards about a month ago. And so I haven't seen this particular card, but it's really beautiful. Number 42 or 3 could be very significant numbers in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. 42 or 3. Um, the 3 could be a possible age of a child of yours, possibly, or somebody you're connected to's child, possibly. And then 42 could be an age of an adult possibly you or somebody you're connected to as an adult, possibly. It also could be possible social, secur social security number, green card number, date of birth uh, number, possibly. It also could be a possible jersey number or um, lottery number. You plug it in how it resonates, 42 and 3. Or it could be significant reoccurring numbers. Um, you're seeing out on advertisements and billboards in some shape, form, or fashion, um, possibly. Also, I feel guided to look up angel number 333 because we do have three on here. Maybe that is significant for someone in this reading, possibly. I had angel number 333 in a daily tea the other day, too, recently. Seeing 333, ooh, say it, don't spray it. I just spit. Seeing 333 repeatedly may be a sign that a looming decision needs, to, needs your attention. It's a signal that your path ahead is clear for moving forward. The 333 angel number indicates that despite your fears, anxieties, misled plans, or wrong turns, you're on the right path. The universe is urging you to keep going. So there you go. If that resonates for anybody, uh, I'll, I'll repeat it one more time. Seeing 333 repeatedly may be a sign that a looming decision needs your attention. So yeah, I do think a looming decision, um, there's a lot of decision energy in here a lot of decision energy so that um that makes sense for i feel a lot of these situations if those resonate with you um so looming decision needs to be uh, needs your attention it's a signal that your path is uh, clear for moving forward um it indicates that despite your fears anxieties misled plans or wrong turns you're on the right path the universe is urging you to keep going so um that's for one particular person or maybe one particular person in the universe you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you all right, chaos. A particular feminine energy, Aquarius, is about to go to a lawyer and get a divorce soon. Her partner does not want this. And it's going to cause a lot of chaos between the, these two, but this Aquarius knows it is best for her. There is already a lot of chaos there. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates with you, you're a femme Aquarius. And I heard you're basically about to go to the lawyer and get a divorce. Your partner, it sounds like your partner don't want a divorce, but you're about to do it regardless because um, you know what's best for you. And I heard you know it's going to cause a, a lot of chaos, but there's already chaos there in the relationship anyway. So, well, hell, there's already chaos there. Hell, I don't blame you. Just saying, just saying. But you plug it in how it resonates. But, um, but yeah. So chaos, chaos, conflict, and chaos energy. You, hell, the marriage is already unhappy anyways. It's already unhappy anyway. So if it's already unhappy, why not go ahead and freaking make it legal? Just, I mean, that's my thoughts on it. But of course, everybody has free will. Um, but whoever you are, you're highly intuitive, Fem Aquarius, and you're about to do it anyways. You are about to do it anyways regardless of whether what people think and because you're going to do what's best for you and absolutely you, let me let me just tell you guys um little side note i've been divorced for a long time um i've been married one time and i've been divorced one time and i live in a bible belt and when i got divorced many 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 years ago my community just thought i was terrible they thought I was terrible and they just was like, oh my God. 
But it was the best thing for me. It was the best thing for me. I knew it was. It was the best situation for everybody involved. I knew it was. So, I mean, you have to do what's best for you is what I'm trying to say. Everybody's situation is different. Maybe that little tidbit helps somebody out there. Um, hopefully it does. But you have to do what's best for you. So you go with your bad self if this resonates for you. Um, but I heard that marriage is already chaotic. It's already chaotic. Apparently, there's no love there, apparently. They're probably just trying to keep the ring on your finger in the marriage of uh, divorce decree official to keep money and assets, possibly. But uh, you're highly intuitive. This resonates with you. Whatever the situation is, why they don't want it. Um, for some, it could be... Um, uh, they they are afraid of what the Joneses are going to think or um, or traditional reasons or what have you. But at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. So you kudos to Fem uh, Aquarius energy, whoever this is. Chaos is about is brewing, but it's already been brewing in this marriage. If this resonates for you, let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. But I want to point out, too, with that um, Fem Aquarius about to get the divorce. And whoever this is, you're, it sounds like it's about to be contested. Your partner don't want it. Your partner does not want the divorce. I think they like to control you. Um, I didn't hear that part. That's just my deductive logic, reasoning, intuition in this. I think your partner likes to control you. Um, but I think you know it. Um, but we have the courage card. If you can see that. So I think you're about to have lots of courage, Fem Aquarius, and you're about to break the chains of a very unhappy marriage. And congrats to you. Courage. You're about to have courage, strength, um, like Leo energy. And um, you are about to break the freaking chains of a very unhappy freaking marriage. I'm very happy and proud for you, whoever this is for. I am, I am, I am. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. Let me see if I hear anything with this one. One Aquarius's freak flag is about to fly very publicly very soon. Not going to care what other people think. Whoa, okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, you go with your bad self, whoever that's for. Okay, heard one Aquarius's freak flag. Freak flag is about to fly very soon, very publicly. You're not going to care what other people think. So, one of you guys has some kind of freak flag energy. Now, to me, that could resonate a million different ways from different people. That's all I heard. But it's something taboo, I feel, that other people don't approve of or they think is taboo or oh we can't talk about it or, you know but you're not going to care you're not going to care apparently it's who you are and i'm assuming it's not harming you or anybody else so if it's not harming you or anybody else why not be public with it is the way i feel about it um but you plug in your life how it fits this is your story not mine just saying but um, I heard you're going to make it very known, very publicly, very soon. So I think social media or I think community, uh, probably a community that discourages some kind of freak flag energy. They want you to be like robots and be just like everybody else in the little box. So, oh, oh I'm a little robot. Oh, oh, oh. And um, but you, you are not about to be. You're about to have a lot of courage and display your freak flag very publicly. I think some it's going to be social media, some it might be in the community, word of mouth, for some it might be both. So you plug it in how it resonates, and I think that might cause chaos with other people that like you to be a little robot in your little box, eh, 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 eh. Um, but you're not going to care. So kudos to whoever this is for. Um, I'm presuming it's not harming anybody or, any, um, or yourself, I'm presuming, at least I hope not. So kudos for your courage because um, you know it's going to cause chaos to let your freak flag fly, whatever that may be.
For some, I feel it could be about sexuality, um, possibly. For some, I could feel, feel it could be about the divorce, about the upcoming divorce for some fem Aquarius out there somewhere. For some, I feel it could be about something else, but you're about to let it known very publicly. However, you're about to let it known, be known. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a very, very, very integral lawsuit is about to come into fruition very soon. It's going to turn out to be a very, 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 very winning lawsuit and very, very, very public at the end of this. Know this. And Aquarius is going to be very integral in this, in helping with this lawsuit. Oh my God. So you, whoo, lost of energy strong in here. Okay. So if this resonates with you, you're going to help with some kind of very, I heard very integral lawsuit. It's, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't come into fruition in the universe yet. Sounds like it's about to. Um, sounds like through many series of chain of events. I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive logic and reasoning on this, but it sounds like you're going to help bring it into fruition into the universe to help it become a lawsuit basically. But it's going to be very, very winning and integral lawsuit and it's going to be very, very public by the end of all this. So um, it's going to cause chaos, I'm assuming, with some people that are going to be on the losing end of this lawsuit, I'm presuming. And you're going to have courage to help bring it into fruition into the universe um, to help the victim or victims in this lawsuit. It could be with this Taurus or it could be with that Femme Energy or it could be with anybody else, however that resonates. But I heard you're going to help with it. So I don't think you are the victim there. I think you're going to help. For some, you could be the lawyer. I've been picking up lawyer, heavy lawyer energy in here. You plug it in how it resonates. My goodness. Okay. I didn't hear anything else. Okay. That's it. I ain't hear anything else. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. Love you guys. Namaste.